In this video, I'm going to talk about preparation index analysis, which is one of the analysis done in sugar laboratory. Under this analysis, I'm going to talk about number one, reason why this analysis is done in sugar laboratory. Number two, requirements for this analysis. Number three, procedure for this analysis. Number four, results gotten after doing this analysis, i.e. I'll discuss how to calculate preparation index, expected preparation index results, and also corrective measures to be applied in case the value deviates from the set limit. I believe you are ready to learn. Be my guest up to the end of the video. Preparation index analysis is done to determine the efficiency of the fibrizer. Fibrizer is one of the preparation devices at premeeting section of sugarcane processing. It has tips which heat cane pieces to fiber-like material for efficient juice extraction at milling section. Fibrizer recarrier pick crushed cane from fibrizer and drop it on conveyor belt. Conveyor belt transport this crushed cane to mill, to mill one at milling section. A sample of crushed cane from conveyor belt is used to do preparation index analysis. The sample should be from the entire width of the belt in one motion. The comments for this analysis are prepared cane, next lead acetate. Remember this chemical is used to clarify extracted juice from prepared cane. In the previous video I said that the solution used to determine pole in polarimeter should be clear and free from suspended solid so this chemical is used to remove colors and suspended solids next we have spatula next filter papers next two funnels next tissue next can disintegrator integrator rotates at a high speed of around 5000 revolution per minute it has a jacket which holds the sample it also has three blades attached to the shaft the function of these blades is to cut and open the unopened cells of the prepared can. Next, polarimeter. Next, 200 millimeters pole tube. Next, two conco flasks. Next, two beakers. Next, two liters jug. Next, 10 liters bucket and finally distilled water. In this analysis, we need to find two values, i.e. hand pole and rapid pole which will help us to come up with preparation index percentage. Hand pour refers to pour leached out of the open cells of prepared cane, while rapid pour refers to pour from open cells as well as disintegrated cells of prepared cane. So let's start with hand pour. Hand pour and rapid pour are done separately. So let's start with hand pour. Below is the procedure that is followed to determine hand pour. Number one, weigh 500 grams of crushed cane and put into a 10 liters bucket. Add three liters of distilled water. Cover this bucket, then shake slowly for 30 minutes. As you shake that bucket, the sucrose that is in open cells of prepared cane dissolve in water added to this prepared cane. After 30 minutes, Sieve this juice to remove bagasse. Take 200 ml of the sieved juice and add lead acetate. Stir then filter using the filter paper. Discard the first 25 milliliters of the filtrate, then collect the remaining filtrate. Read the pole of this filtrate using polarimeter. Procedure for doing rapid pole is as follows. Weigh 333 grams of remaining crushed cane sample and put in a disintegrator. Add 2 liters of water, then digest for 10 minutes. As the disintegrator shaft revolves, it opens the remaining cane cells holding sucrose. It also enables the sucrose from cane cells to dissolve in water added. Remove juice from the disintegrator, then sieve. Measure 200 ml of juice, then add lead acetate. Stir and filter using the filter paper. Discard the first 20, 25 ml of the filter, then collect the remaining filtrate. Read poll 
of this juice using polarimeter. The formula below is used to calculate preparation index. That is, preparation index is equal to hand pour red over rapid pour red times 100%. For example, if our hand pour is 5.18 and our rapid pour is 6.07, the preparation index will be equal to 5.18 over 6.07 times 100% which is equal to 85.34%. So our preparation index is 85.34%. Preparation index analysis shows the percentage of cane plant cells which have been ruptured by fibrizum. It is assumed that percentage of open cells is equal to pole leached out of open cells, that's hand pole, over total pole of both open and unopened cells of prepared cane, that is rapid pole, times 100. That's why this integrator is used at for rapid pole to open the unopened cells. Recommended preparation index for efficient sucrose extraction is between 85 to 92%. Below 85% shows that crushed cane is not well prepared, hence high quantity of sucrose is being lost through an open cane cells. In case preparation index is below 85, the lab analyst should inform the mill engineer to stop milling and weld or replace fibrizer tips. Preparation index above 92% shows that cane is being overcrushed and this can lead to high content of bagasillo in mixed juice. Presence of bagasillo of high content of bagasillo in mixed juice lead to increase in amount of suspended solids hence this juice will need more flocculant and time for settling in clarifier. So in case it's above 95% the lab analyst should inform the mill engineer to feed fibrizer with more cane so as to reduce the strength of the tips. Preparation index has to be done frequently to make sure that all sugarcane being milled is well prepared and sucrose loss through an open cells is very minimum. It is the responsibility of laboratory staff to ensure that there is maximum extraction of sucrose from sugarcane. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you have any question concerning today's analysis, let us meet at comment section. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I request you to subscribe so that you can get more educative videos on food science and technology.